Coming up next is the tip of the week. Stay tuned for tips, tricks and more about Android. We now move on to our final segment of the week, and that's the tip of the week. And we're looking at Help Me Write. Here's that little quick view of the Help Me Write. Hi, for episode 146 tip of the week, this is demonstrating the new feature found in Gmail and Google Messages called Compose for Me. I've had this feature now for a little over a month, and today I'm showing you how to use that power of AI to compose your email messages if you happen to be a lazy one like me. Nah, just kidding. I don't do that, but it's here in the event that you want to use it. I am in my Gmail uh, app now, and I'll find and tap on the compose at the bottom of the screen. That's on the bottom right. Compose button out of list. Gmail edit box editing for death in list. Showing English. US I have Q tapped on compose, and now I'm going to input an address. I'm going to just put it to myself. W A. At W, W, A, A. And I'm going to find my name and tab on it or my email address. Warcare. Warcare at gmail. Contact suggestion. There we go. I just tapped on my username and I'm going to go down to the subject field. Subject. Edit box. Here I am on the subject field and I'll tap here to activate subject. the subject field. Showing English US QWERTY. Now I'm going to dictate something. Assistant voice typing. Coming home for Christmas. Next. Stop. Voice typing stopped. Assistant voice typing. I give it a subject field that says coming home for Christmas. I am now in the body of the message and I'm going to hide my keyboard. Edit box. Keyboard hidden. At the bottom right corner of my phone is the button we're going to be working on. And that button simply says... Help me write button. Help me write. And now I'm going to tap here. An email to catch up with an old friend. Edit box. Editing. Showing English US QWER. When you tab here, it gives you suggestions as to what you would like to do and things like that. Now, you can do whatever you want. For this demonstration, I had mentioned something about coming home for Christmas. Therefore, I'm going to type something having to do with Christmas. The rule is that at least you give up to three words. So you write down at least three words in order for it to take those three words and give you a composition. So I'm going to type in here or voice dictate here. I am writing to let you know I'm coming home for Christmas. P. Assistant voice typing. I am writing to tell you that I am coming home for Christmas, period. Stop. Voice typing stopped. I told it to stop. Now, above the keyboard, on the top right corner of the keyboard, we find this. Create button. We find the create, I tab. Creating. Hi, recipient name. So it says hi, and you're going to put in I'll the... I'll be coming home for Christmas. I'm looking forward to seeing you all. Best. Your name, edit box. Keyboard hidden. That was a very short one. So you, it has the hi, and you can fill in the name of the person that you want to write to. And then, of course, at the end of the message, you can put your name. So at the bottom of your phone, we find the following button that simply says... Insert button. Insert. So, for example, if I insert that, web view, it has inserted that message that coming I just. Coming home for Christmas. Edit box. Subject. There's my subject coming home for Christmas. Web view. And then. Hi, recipient name. I'll be coming home for Christmas. I'm looking forward to seeing you all. Best. Your name. Edit box. And now at the bottom, if I'm not satisfied with this particular message, I could change it. And at the bottom here, we find this button that simply says 
refine my message button. Refine my message. I tap. Web view. Tapping on refine my message, we got a couple rows of buttons. The first one, which is toward the bottom, starting from the left, we've got. Formalize button in grid, two rows, three columns. I could formalize that and to the right of it. Elaborate button. Why not make it elaborate and to the right of that. Shorten button. I could still shorten that particular message we're seeing above there. And below that, we have a couple set of buttons. Starting from the left, we've got. I'm feeling lucky button. I'm feeling lucky to the right. Write a draft button. I could write a draft. So if I tap here, it's going to give me those suggestions like we saw earlier, like I could put in a subject matter or, you know, the topic I want to talk about. Let's try to do the formalize or elaborate. I'm going to formalize button. I'll formalize it. Tap. Formalize button with loading animation disabled. Dear recipient name, I hope this email finds you well. I'm writing to let you know that I'll be coming home for Christmas. I'm really looking forward to seeing you all again and spending some time with family. I'm still working out the details of my travel plans, but I'll be sure to let you know as soon as I have more information. In the meantime, I hope you're having a wonderful holiday season. Best, your name, edit box. And now at the bottom. Replace button. And basically, I'll be replacing the one that we had earlier. So I'll tap replace button. Replace. This is a creative writing aid and is not intended to be factual. Learn more. Okay. Replace button. Web view. I just tapped on replace. Now, if I put my finger up at the top. Coming home for Christmas. Edit box. Subject. That's my subject. Move my finger down. Dear recipient name. I hope this email finds you well. I'm writing to let you know that I'll be coming home for Christmas. I'm really looking forward to seeing you all again and spending some time with family. I'm still... There's that same message that I just replaced. And now, if I didn't like it again, remember, you can change it. Refine my message button. There at the bottom. I'll tap there. Web view. And this time, let's choose elaborate. Right elaborate button. Elaborate button with loading animation disabled. Dear recipient name, I hope this email finds you well. I'm writing to let you know that I'll be coming home for Christmas. I'm really looking forward to seeing you all again and spending some time with family. I know it's been a while since I've been home, and I'm excited to catch up on everything. I'm also looking forward to helping out with the holiday preparations. I know how much you all love Christmas, and I want to make it extra special this year. I'm still working out the details of my travel plans, but I'll be sure to let you know as soon as I have more information. In the meantime, I hope you're having a wonderful holiday season. Best, your name, edit box. And if I like it, remember at the bottom there is that replace. Replace button. Web view. There we have it. Dear recipient name, I hope this email finds you well. I'm writing to let you know that I'll be coming home for Christmas. I'm really looking forward to seeing you all again and spending some time with family. I know it's been a while since I've been home, and I'm excited to catch up on everything. I'm also looking forward to helping out with the holiday preparations. I know how much you all love Christmas, and I want to make it extra special this year. I'm still working out the details of my travel plans, but I'll be sure to let you know as soon as I have more information. In the meantime, I hope you're having a wonderful holiday season. Best, your name, edit box. And that's it. Now all I need to do is tap on the send. Send button. And I'm not going to send this. And I'm going to tap on the more options. More options button. Pop up window. And now I'm going to tap on discard. There is my discard. And I'll tap here to discard the message. Message discarded. Gmail. Mail. And that's your tip of the week on how to use the help me write, be it in messages or in your Gmail app. Very funny comment to make. So the pixel, the QPR one is teaching Warren how to count and the help me write is teaching Warren how to write. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Most especially when I'm trying to unlock my screen. One, two, three, boy, your screen is unlocked.